The new WLTP procedure. In road traffic, there are primarily two types of emissions. On the one hand, the carbon dioxide output, which is directly linked to fuel consumption. On the other hand, for example, nitrogen oxide and particulate emissions. The emission standards set limit values for these pollutant emissions. There are standardized test procedures for determining the carbon dioxide output and pollutant emissions. The NEDC cycle was last revised more than 25 years ago. It is no longer suitable for a realistic evaluation of current vehicle generations. That is why the new WLTP procedure replaces the existing NEDC certification. WLTP stands for Worldwide Harmonized Light Vehicles Test Procedure. There are major differences between the WLTP and the NEDC. The WLTP cycle is based on globally determined, real driving data and for this reason is more realistic and significantly more demanding. The average speed is much higher. The route in the test cycle is more than twice as long. The maximum speed is significantly higher. Acceleration is more powerful and the vehicle stands still less. The determination of the certification values accounts for the vehicle equipment with its effects on the mass as well as on the aerodynamic drag and the rolling resistance. This means that each vehicle can have its own certified carbon dioxide value. Due to the more dynamic test procedure, the values certified according to WLTP will be higher than the current NEDC values. In some countries, the higher certified fuel consumption may have a greater effect on the motor vehicle tax rate. Of course, the WLTP certification remains a standardized test cycle because the vehicle's actual consumption depends to a large extent on the individual driving style, on the route profile, on the traffic density, on the vehicle's load and on the external conditions. The switch to the WLTP procedure is a major step towards more realistic fuel consumption figures and more transparency. It is taking place in several steps. The WLTP consumption and emission cycle applies to vehicles to be newly certified as of September 2017. And as of September 2018 for all vehicles newly registered for the first time. The WLTP is obligatory for all EU member states and other states are looking into introducing it at a later point in time. Since September 2017, the WLTP has been successfully replacing the NEDC and creating more transparency. The start of communication of WLTP and its effects on vehicle tax differ depending on national legislation. Already registered vehicles are not affected by the switch. In future, a vehicle's emissions will also be measured in real road traffic in addition to the WLTP test on the roller dynamometer in the laboratory, where the real driving emissions, or RDE for short, are verified. The pollutant emissions are determined with the aid of a portable measuring device, and adherence to the values measured in the lab is checked. RDE ensures that the vehicles also adhere to the prescribed emission limit values in everyday road traffic. The new WLTP and RDE regulations facilitate even more realistic and reliable measurement of the carbon dioxide output and pollutant emissions. The new WLTP test procedure brings more realistic consumption values and the RDE test makes the link to adhering to the limit values in real driving conditions. At Mercedes-Benz, we are constantly working on the technological advancement of our engines in order to reduce emissions and implement new standards. For more information, please visit our internet pages or your Mercedes-Benz dealer.